video today is going to be a little weird and it might upset some people because in one of the maps I am very critical of certain things happening on the map whether it be with myself or the teammates on the map and the YouTube comment section does not like when I am critical and in the Tuscan SD in today's map I get my thoughts out just a, just a warning before you guys go in the comment section yelling at me I, I've warned you the second map after that's going to be a bow cage hard point that's going to go back to the normal style of stuff it's literally just a cakewalk I fry the enemy team it is what it is before both of those maps though we are going to discover why vanguard ranked play will never be its fullest potential it could be i'm beating a dead horse with what happens in the clip but just i want to know like bungie sledgehammer treyarch whoever made the mobile fucking port for left for dead why 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 this happened why do why punish whatever though hope you guys are ready for that if you are please leave a like down below i hope you guys have a great day after the video ends boys and girls i'll talk to you in tomorrow's video as always peace And then my teammate fucking leaves. Are you serious? Tell me like we were winning. Well, let's lose some SR because my teammate left, yeah? Again, let's go back to that discussion from a few videos ago. Teammate left mid-map, getting absolutely fucking bitch slapped back to the Shadow Realm. Leaves the game because he's getting shit on, then I get punished for minus 20 SR. Where is the logic? How is that my fault? We were winning when he left the fucking game. Like, I- Vanguard, like, somebody that works on this game, please fucking explain to me what the logic behind the decision that goes into the SR is, because it does not make sense. I promise you, whatever the decision making that goes into this game does not make sense. And if you think it makes sense, you should not be in charge of anything competitive. And I don't want the world to see me, because I don't think that they'd understand when everything's meant to be broken. I just want you to know who I am. Literally none of my teammates are watching A with me. Literally none of my teammates are looking at the A side of the map where the bomb carrier went. I know YouTube, you don't like when I criticize my teammates. That is objectively fucking stupid. Even if we win this round, what my teammates just did is a bad fucking play. Like, whatever. Fucking deep breaths, regain. It has to get better at some point. What the fuck? Oh, there's a... Has this always been here? I'm gonna wait for my teammate Fire to push through. Now I'll peek. I mean, I don't know. Again, the guy is sitting in the back of his spawn playing for streaks. My teammate with the sniper decided to go challenge him. Anybody with brain activity knows that the guy, if he doesn't jump off the map, is playing for streaks. If he's not pushing anything, if he's not jumping off the map, he's playing for streaks. Why feed him? I'm fucking sticking the plant, bro. Thank God we killed them off streaks. Jesus Christ. If this makes it into a YouTube video, I'm terribly sorry I'm being hypercritical, but I've just been plagued by nothing but people who don't get the game tonight. And it's kind of bugging me at this point, because it's just a reoccurring theme. Like, I'm not a perfect player, but I have a generally good idea of, like, what a good play and what a bad play is, and I try my best to not make bad plays. Back to back to back to back. I also keep forgetting that nobody in this rank takes fucking bombs, so... I... Fucking... Holy shit. Yeah, whatever, sure. He ran the route I ran. He saw my shadow, only reason he fucking got me. Again, if we push site as a team and like pick up the lanes and shit, we probably don't die there, but I got bad timing and I had nobody there to help. Good 
All right. Good play. I'll give credit where credit's due. Good play. I'm Shu. Finally got a kill. Teammates double hit through fire. Hit the flank pretty hard. Got a free pick on the guy. I don't know where that guy was at, actually. He was in a weird spot. They killed him, like... He was either playing for, like, P3 spawns, or he was top fire. Let's see. Anyone gonna take bomb this round? Nope. Fantastic. Why would we? No, he was here the entire time, but still. Like, congrats, guys. We finally have A-site control. Too bad bomb is down P5, and... Good kill. Again, even if we do the 1v4. Alright, it's possible. The bomb is ready. See how he plays this ah, he's going radio. That's not the play. Or he could just read him like a book. That's a really risky, not even 50-50 gunfight. There's so many angles. I mean, I'm glad it worked out, obviously, but it's one of those situations where that's something that's likely to happen, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I would have wrapped back through their spawn, played through their spawn, and then you can see bomb from alley or back tank. That's really predictable, but it's the higher percentage chance of something going right. Homies, we're fucking going. We gotta fucking go. Oh, that guy's our spawn. And now I'm left in a 1v3. Guys, god fucking damn it. Whatever, I can't keep criticizing my teammates. Obviously, it's a fucking team issue. We're all collectively sucking and making dumb plays, I guess. I just... It's real tough whenever I see, like, the statistic things happening on my screen. Like, two guys not getting bombed down at B when we have numbers. Just sit here and play for the rap? I don't know. Alright, good play. Everybody before this round either had 7 or 8 kills, and then I'm Shu at 5, I think. Cabrizi just got a 2 or 3k. Unfortunately, we're attacking again, and we've just had no fucking thoughts on offense. If we have something to pull out of our ass, now's the round to do it. Are we gonna peek mid with the bomb? Nope, but... Hold down the fort, bro. That's fucking bullshit. I should have won that gunfight, but this game hates me. And now we- okay, we need to play for one kill. Can you get that one kill, dog? Alright, GG's, we won. Unless you get- unless something stupid happens. Alright, no. Well, I mean, something stupid did happen, but we won the round. That's tragic. I mean, I- this might end up in a video just because there's a lot of talking and a lot of thoughts that are happening. I'm gonna be honest, we won that game based on pure dumb fucking luck. There's no reason we should have won that. And I guess also leave a comment down below if you've made it this far in the video. Should I have won that last gunfight bottom church? Because I feel like I should have won the gunfight. I'm biased, of course, but whatever. Um, also, um, 9SR. Yeah, figured as much. Well, let's see how this goes. Vanguard has been testing my patience tonight, so... We control the hard point. Keep it up. Hard points under fire. Please stop stunning me. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just suck. Maybe I don't belong in this rank. That's another thing, the game has been lagging a lot recently. Packet bursts, like, I've been getting dummy- You're my teammate, I don't know where the fuck the enemies are. I've been getting dummy amounts of packet burst. Oh, they didn't spawn in the back. That's bad timing, I'm gonna get shit on because I'm gonna get shot by two guys, tough. Another team's done. I don't know where that guy just deployed from. That guy just came out of the fucking war zone airplane. Another team's done. Jesus, dude.
That dude's pushing for the trade. They're all pushing for the trade. Then I get shot from barn and my teammate was looking right at him. Whack. W-H-A-C-K. Whack. Oh my god, I almost- if I would've killed that third guy, I- I would've probably got reported. One shot on, come on guys! Seven points, we got a hundred point club them! No, it's gonna- 96. Oh my god, all the team stuns. Ah, shit. There it goes. Yeah, there goes the 100 point club. Tragic. In before the enemy team was just pranking us, and now they're gonna turn up and make the fucking 170 point comeback. Why are you here? He sprinted down river and shit. Okay. Team made. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh shit, we need seven points to win. I got... Hey, I got hill time. I didn't realize we were that close to winning. Damn, dude, I had one more second than I had kills. You guys see how skippy that is in the background, though? That's what I mean. Like, the entire game just feels like shit right now. I don't know if you guys saw, but if you go back, like, 5-10 seconds in the recording, just look at how skippy behind the scoreboard is. It's like playing on 10 FPS. The game just feels gross to play right now. I went 58-27 and 27 with a minute of hill time. I'm gonna say the game gives me 13 SR for that performance. 14! Holy fuck! Was not expecting that. I can go to bed happy now. Smile.